Uh, today I'll be offering this Mass and the prayers following Mass uh, in solidarity and in prayer with uh, the, the parishioners of Our Lady of Lebanon Parish. Uh, as you may have heard uh, over the weekend, uh, the statue of Our Lady in front of the church was broken, desecrated, uh, but a shocking thing. And so we pray for the parishioners in this time of their sorrow at this statue and this sign of our faith uh, being attacked in this way. We might think as well of how this is happening uh, in many different places. We think of our neighbors to the south are experiencing that of statues of saints and other signs of faith. We think of that in different countries around the world. Uh, I think of my own home parish in Guelph where this happened just a few weeks ago. And so our hearts are, and prayers are with the people of Our Lady of Lebanon Parish and any others who have experienced this kind of attack on the faith. And it should call us to reflect upon our faith and to realize that uh, we are professing our faith in a hostile world. And it should call us also, I think, uh, to think of uh, the brothers and sisters in Christ around the world who are actually suffering martyrdom for the faith. This should make us more serious in our life as Christians. Also, of course, the people of Lebanon have suffered greatly over the years, and most recently, about a month ago, the, uh, the terrible explosion in Beirut. And so we're trying to reach out and help in different ways, and we, we pray for the people of Lebanon itself. And our Holy Father, uh, Pope Francis, has declared this coming Friday to be a day of prayer and fasting for the people of Lebanon. And so the Mass on Friday as well. Uh, I will offer for, in that case, for the people of, of Lebanon and, and their great suffering. Also, I, today I placed upon the altar in front of the crucifix, and I'll do so as well on Friday when I offer the Mass uh, for the people of Lebanon, as today for the parishioners, a uh, relic of St. Charbel of Lebanon, which I keep in my, uh, my private chapel. And today and on Friday, I've, I'll place it in front of the crucifix as we celebrate the Holy Eucharist.